two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. Ecclesiastes chapter four verse nine. Devotional, made for community. Have you ever worked in a group with other people who only slowed down your progress? A lot of people actually prefer working alone so that they they can manage priority the way they want. Well, this way be a good method in some cases. It's not usually the best way to live. From the very beginning of creation, God created us to be in relationship with other people. We are created for community and friendship, and God intended for us to work together and help each other through life. And yet, a lot of people live their life in isolation from others. They believe that as long as they have Jesus, they don't need anyone else. But you and Jesus can't make it through life alone. You were created to share life with others. The writer of、uh, Ecclesiastes tells us that there are many things that one person cannot do alone. We need others to help us when we fail. We need others to encourage us when we are down. We need people to accomplish tasks in life that are greater than us. Most of the people who have gone through difficult seasons of life wish there had been someone to walk alongside them. We long for connection and community. This is how God designed us. We were created to share the burdens of life together. God created the church to be a community of people who all love, who all love God and love others. When we find a community within the people of God, we will also find people who can walk through life together with us. You don't have to walk through life alone. God has provided other people to help you along, and you are also called to help those in your life. Take some time today to thank God for the friends and the community He has given you. Thank God for each of them by name, as they come to mind. Be sure to let them know that you appreciate their friendship in your life. Seek out ways that you can continue to build a healthy community of friends. Prayer, God, thank you for creating me to live in community with others. I am grateful that I don't have to go through life alone. Please put people in my life who will pray for me during hard times and celebrate with me during good times. In Jesus' name, Amen. Scripture: Two are better than one, because they have a, a good return for their labor. Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse nine. 两个人总比一个人好，因为二人劳碌，同得美好的果效。传道书四章。第九节。Welcome. Need a moment with God. Honor God. God, all glory, honor, and praise belong to you alone. You are worthy of all my adoration. You alone formed the world and called what you created good. Thank you for being who you are, and thank you for creating me in your likeness. Today, I just want to worship you. Let my life be for you and your glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. My concerns: the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him, and He helps me.
My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise Him. Psalms twenty-eight, verse seven. Every concern you have matters to God. So, what's on your mind right now? Where do you want God to show up? God's will for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Habakkuk, chapter two, verse fourteen. Take a few deep breaths and pay attention to the beauty around you. Spend some time. Thanking God for His creation and ask Him to reveal how you can display His glory today. Closing, as you reflect on your prayer time, what do you need to let go of, and what do you need to press into more? Sit with those things for a few minutes. Don't leave this time until you're ready.